Yeah, so what we're doing today is stocking uh, surplus fish, uh, Lake Sturgeon. We have uh, a target goal for the fall of 10,500 in stocking waters. Um, and we basically, we end up taking more eggs than we need um, just to ensure we get to that 10,500 in, in the fall. You know, in the late 1800s, you know, it's, it's the classic one, two, three punch for a species. We, we dammed rivers, you know, to block their spawning migration. We over harvested them. You know, you're talking about a long lived fish that doesn't mature, it's late maturing. Um, you know, and then of course, you know, water contamination, you know, they feed on aquatic insects, so that reduced that population. So the lake's pretty much rebounding, um, you know, and we're, the species just hasn't rebounded. So we're helping jumpstart that today. Um, the fish have to be brought to the temperature that's comfortable for the transition. Uh, and then they're just released into this shallow water. We would expect that they would soon swim to deeper water where it'll be cooler. Uh, we're glad that this restoration program for Lake Sturgeon can also come to Shimo Bay. We've been delivering the fish for 15 years to uh, the St. Lawrence tributaries where the project started. The stock sturgeon have also gone to Oneida Lake and Cayuga Lake and bodies further to the west, but we're glad that the Shimo Bay area can receive some fish because it's such a productive inland bay where the fish will grow well. If 20 years later they're looking for spawning areas, they can go next door to Black River at Dexter where there's excellent spawning conditions but a shortage of a spawning population. So we're wanting to build a, a brood stock to the local area and provide fish to the larger Lake Ontario Lake Sturgeon population.